good morning welcome to yet another glorious day the day that the lord has made let us exceedingly be glad in it is a wonderful day and the day are the works of our mighty god the ever-present god in time of need the holy one of israel the true god the great ocean divider the yan that i am the god that was the god that is is and the god that will still come the god that is ancient the god that is present the god that is also the future this morning, by the grace of God, I am here to share a daily exhortation with you. My name is Joshua Osatoame, and I'm here to share this morning exhortation with you. Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for your great work. How you disappoint the enemy during the night. This morning we are strong, healed and head. Glory be to God. Even as we, your children, hear your word, bless our hearts, bless our soul. Make us to know wisdom. Make us to know your way. Lead us in the path that will bring about change in our life. Let us go closer to you and serve you. And give us victory on everything we partake on today. On every good work that we involve ourselves in today. Bless us, transform us, and make us just like you. In Jesus' perfect name, we pray. Amen. Let's look at a topic this morning titled The Really Living. Galatians 5 23. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Galatians 5 22 23. Really really living is our topic the moment you come to christ the spirit of god brings the life of god into you and you begin to live for the first time you begin in to live with a capital l there is a spring in your step and a joy in your soul and a peace in your hearts and life has taken on a new look there's a whole new direction to your life because the spirit of god has given you the very life of god and god is an internal god that means you will live as long as god lives the bible also teaches that the Spirit of God produces the fruit of the Spirit. Now, this nine cluster of fruits are to characterize the life of every Christian, born child of God. But what do we find? We find in the average so-called Christian today, the very opposite. Everyone before he comes to Christ is dominated by one nature, the whole man, which is also called the flesh which control your life you are controlled by your ego controlled by yourself the moment you receive christ as your lord and personal savior that self is put down and christ is put on in your life and the spirit of god dominates your life however self is still there 
sometimes hidden, sometimes quiet, sometimes secondary. Waiting is opportunity and it's chance to attack the citadel of your soul and take control again. As a Christian, you have the willpower to yield either to the flesh and live a fleshly kind of life. Or you have the power to yield to the spirit to live a spirit filled life. Our life is an up and down experience. God never meant it to be that way. God made a Christian life to be on the highest possible plane at all times, bearing the fruits of the Spirit. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, thank you for the joy you brought. You bring to my life. Every day I put away my soul, oh, self. And again, I choose to follow you. Please help me keep my commandment. My commitment in, to you in dynamic and effective way. I love you, Lord. And I pledge my heart to you. Through Christ, my Lord, I pray. Amen. May the Lord serve bless this word in our hearts in Jesus' name. That at the end of the day, we turn around for the best in Jesus' name. By the grace of God, remember my humble self. Thank you, Father.